So one of the questions I often get is, how can you tell if someone's born again? Well, most of the time, people who are not born again, who think that they are a Christian, which means born of Christ, don't know how to tell if someone's born again. Number one, the word makes it clear. We know a tree by its fruit, right? And what does that fruit look like? Looks like the fruit of the Holy Spirit. But aside from that, if you are someone who consistently dwells on things that are negative, everything that you say, not everything, 90% of the time, your speech is just something negative. It's something that happened in the past, 30, 40 years ago, or an incident that occurred that you just can't forgive the person who did whatever it was they did to you. Yeah, if you listen to them talk, you'll know that none of what they're saying lines up with what God calls a child of God. So ask yourself, think about the words that tend to come out of your mouth. Are you always referencing something negative or are you referencing the goodness of God? Even in this world that has clearly, some of these people have lost their minds, right? Those are the ones that are called just demons wrapped in flesh, but that's for another time. Ask yourself, are you born again? And if you are, or you believe that you're born again, right? Because you can be deceived in thinking that you are born again, because here in the United States, most people who call themselves Christians, who go to church, their behaviors, everything that's antithetical to a child of God. So ask yourself, are you really born again? And if you are born again, when did you receive Jesus Christ? I've met people who said, oh, you, I don't, I, you can't, you don't, you can't know when you were born again. Well, if you know the day that you were born in this world, into this world, then how is it possible for you not to know the day that God himself stepped into your mortal body and you were changed, born again, made anew, all things have passed away. How do you not know that? I can answer that for you. Number one, you probably was in a very bad situation and you got out of the situation and you attributed it to God saving you. Here's a little secret. I've been to a number of Muslim nations as well as Buddhist nations and they have the same testimony. Something bad was happening in my life and I said, God, if you're real, you'll let me know. And suddenly the pain stopped in my body, but they, they don't live for Jesus. They met a God, small g, but not the God of the Bible. Because in order for you to receive Jesus Christ, you have to repent of your sins. And when you repent of your sins, it is because you received the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit convicted you of your sin. Not, oh, God saved me from being jumped by some guys or God saved me from an abusive relationship or or God saved me because I used to be a smoker or I used to be an alcoholic but your life doesn't look like anything associated with what God requires of us when we read his word so my prayer for you is that you take a minute and really sit down and ask yourself were you born again did you receive Jesus Christ did you receive the conviction of the Holy Spirit receive Jesus Christ because he said yes he is savior of your life and lord of your life and then your life just looks different from how it used to I'm just saying